What's up, everyone? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking to you guys face to face. Uh, I want to talk about the channel and uh, some things that I'm wanting to do and just kind of basically shoot the breeze with you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, if you've been watching my videos a few videos back. Uh, because I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this one. But a few videos back, I, I mentioned something about wanting to stream again. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. It's probably going to be a morning or midday stream, something like that. I know a lot of people are going to be at school or work or whatever, and that's fine. I understand that. Everyone has their own lives. Uh, but it's going to be, uh, like I said, a morning or a day stream. It's just what works out best for me. I can't night stream because I've got kids and the house is crazy and I don't have like a quiet private place that I can go off and do that. I would love it if I did more than anything else. That's like one of my biggest dreams uh, later on down the road, maybe, is to have some kind of place set up somewhere separate where I can go do my thing and not bother everyone and not be interrupted. Uh, so it's going to be uh, a morning or a day stream. Uh, we'll give it a try. We'll see. We'll dip, we'll dip our toes in it and see how things go. Uh, you know, actually, I've streamed before. This will be the first time I've streamed since, uh, I guess the last time I streamed, I had less than 1,000 subs. Like, it's been a long time ago. It was between 500 and 1,000 subs. Somewhere in there. It's probably closer to 500, but uh, yeah, it's been a really long time since I've streamed. Uh, the first time I streamed, I really, I kind of felt like it honestly hurt my channel, especially being a smaller channel that you're trying to grow and get the thousand subs and get monetized and all that stuff. Uh, I really, I really felt like it's, uh, it basically hurt the channel. And the reason being is, um, you know, you do these streams, you're up for, uh, uh, a minimum of two hours, two, three, four, six hours, whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, it's good in the moment. Streams are good in the moment, especially for a small channel, right? They're good in the moment because your supporters are watching, they're, they're helping. Uh, but it's after the fact, like in the long term is where it really starts to hurt you. At least I feel like, because, you know, you do the stream, the stream ends, and then YouTube takes that video. And uh, they'll start putting it out there to other people, uh, basically strangers that don't know anything about your content. And for me, like, it is super, super hard to convince a stranger, hey, why don't you click on this three-hour video and give it a chance and watch it, right? Like, most of us don't do that. Let's just be honest. I don't do that. Like, it's very rare for me to click on a video that's two, three, four hours long and I don't know anything about that person or content. Now, it, it does happen, right? It does happen from time to time. But it's really hard uh, to gain new viewers through a multiple hour video. Let's just face it. Unless you're like some big name or something. But uh, So that's what, that's what happens. And then as a result of that, uh, your click-through rate goes down. And uh, your watch time goes down and it basically, it drags the whole channel. Like to me, it just seems like it drags the whole channel down, right? Uh, so that was the dilemma I was faced. Once I stopped streaming uh, the channel, went ahead and hit a thousand subs and really kind of grew there for a while after I'd stopped. So, you know, I've always wanted to go back to streaming because I do feel like streams are more for your core audience. You can grow off of it a little bit, but it's more for your core followers, right? Your, your core audience. Uh, but it's like, how do you do that and not, uh, not wreck your channel? And I finally, I saw a video. It's been actually a good while back uh, from a guy named Harris Heller. He was talking about streaming and he was basically, I think he was saying like, uh, you know, your streams are for your audience. Don't expect to grow or expand your channel with them. You know, it's mainly for your people. So how can you do that and not hurt yourself? So basically what you do or what I'm going to do is uh, I'll do the streams and you guys can watch and enjoy if you can. And then we'll take the stream and we'll put it in a stream playlist or a live playlist. But we'll make the video unlisted on YouTube. So the stream will be available to anyone 
that goes to that playlist and wants to watch them, they're absolutely free and available to do that. But the stream won't be pushed out there to random people watching YouTube that don't have any interest in it. So it should, like, technically it should help a lot. That should help a lot, right? Like, in theory, it seems like a good working idea. I, I don't know how well that'll work. We'll have to see, but um, it should eliminate all those random disinterested people that don't want to watch it, you know, it should eliminate them. So, uh, we'll give it a try and we'll see what that does. I hope it does well. There is so much more stuff I want to do, uh, with the channel. And the big thing about streaming is that, uh, it's basically another source of income too, uh, as far as helping the channel. So I'm really kind of looking forward to that to seeing, you know, what that can do as far as watch time and stuff like that. Because as I said, there's so much more stuff I want to do, uh, to the channel to grow it and expand it. Like one thing would be to get rid of this, uh, potato of a web webcam. <laughs> it's really just, it's really kind of sad. This cam, I hate this cam. Uh, you know, when I started doing all this, it was back in, um, back when COVID started. You know, I, I don't know if you guys have like watched my videos way back in the day. That's the whole reason why I started doing this was uh, because of COVID. Uh, basically, just to give me something to do. And so I got this webcam during COVID. Well, you know, during the whole COVID thing, everyone was at home. Everyone was Zooming from home, working from home, doing that thing. And you couldn't get a webcam to save your life. Like they just, you couldn't get webcams. You couldn't get PC components. I remember I built this PC uh, about, yeah, during COVID too. And believe it or not, it took me forever to get a power supply for this thing. And I had to settle for a power supply that I really wasn't even that happy with. Like, I, I, that's, it's not what I wanted, but it was what I could get. And the basic reason behind that is power supplies for PCs are pretty heavy items. So they're shipped in containers on, on boats, right, across the Pacific. And, uh, they have to buy container space on these ships. And because of COVID and all the supplies that were going back and forth because of that, they, the container, like the space on the container ships were really limited and they couldn't ship a lot of, uh, power supplies. And so it just like, it became really freaking hard to get a power supply. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I had to settle on this webcam and it's a cheap Chinese knockoff. Uh, that I barely probably paid $2 for really. It was more than that, but, uh, it was really super cheap. You couldn't get the Logitech webcams. You couldn't get anything. So I got this thing. It says it's uh HD, like it's supposed to be a nice webcam, but, uh, it's never done a good picture. It's never had a good picture. I've never gotten a good picture out of that webcam. But anyway, uh, things like that, that I'm wanting to do to, uh, grow the channel. I'd love to get someone to do some, uh, uh, some graphic design, some uh, logos and uh, intro screens and stuff like that. Uh, I could do it at least to an extent, but uh, I really, I just don't have the time to do it. So, you know, I'd like to uh, find some people to do that, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, yeah, so there's a lot of things that I want to do with the channel now that uh, all my kids are in school. And, uh, I've got some time to kind of focus on things and, uh, have a little like uninterrupted time, you know, cause usually in my life, uh, I don't have like long stretches of time uninterrupted. Like if, if you're a parent, if you're a parent, especially a parent of multiple kids, you know, uh, in that life, usually you have like little blocks of time, right? Like you might get 20 minutes here. You may get an hour here. You may get an hour here, but you never have like hours and hours and hours on end of just like uninterrupted time. So that's where, uh, that's kind of the direction I want to take the channel. I hope you guys, uh, you know, you stick with me and, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Like I said, I've got so many ideas and things in my head that I just haven't been able to, uh, enact and, and do something with. So I'm really hoping that as time goes by. I can start um, making more of those ideas a reality, that sort of thing. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is Discord. 
Uh, and the first thing I want to do is apologize to those that did join the Discord. I've been a absolute horrible Discord host. I know I have. There's no doubt about it. I hardly go on there, to be honest. I really just don't. I don't do much on Discord, period. I, I really, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what to think about Discord. It makes a good, like, chat, right? It makes a good, like, multiplayer chat for free. Back in the day, we used um, Ventrilo and TeamSpeak, and uh, there was one other. I was looking, I was watching a video, and someone had talked about this other, this other chat from way, like, voice chat from way back in the day, and I can't remember what it was called, but it brought, like, instantly when I, I had forgotten about it. And when I saw that chat that they were talking about, I was like, man, I had forgot about that. It was such a throwback. And I can't remember now to save my life what that chat was, but it was like pre uh, team speak and Ventrilo and all that. It was, pre, it was like Ventrilo and then it was team speak and then Discord. Like it was before Ventrilo, I guess. But uh, yeah, it, it Discord to me, like it, it, it does a pretty good chat multiplayer. Like that's nice. Um, you know, a lot of the really big discords that I belong to are always a hot mess, though, as far as, like, conversations and, like, what's going on. It's always a big jumble mess. You know, all these different conversations and things going on, and I don't know what to make of that. I don't know, like, how to best utilize uh, Discord for, for what I need or what to provide to you guys. Uh, I, I don't want it like, luckily as a small discord, it's not a, ju a big jumble mess as far as conversations It's actually quite personal and, and kind of intimate, you know, but, uh, the big ones, the big ones really turn me off. Like they really just do. I'm like, why, why even bother? Right. Why even bother with the big discords? They're just always a hot mess. Uh, and then like the second thing with discord is that, um, when I put it up there, it, it, it seemed like it quickly became a, a like, well, how can I multiplayer with Spur? And I am so incredibly flattered and honored that anyone would want to play multiplayer with me. I mean, that's like one of the biggest compliments you could ever have. Uh, the fact is, I hardly do multiplayer. And that all goes back to the whole time thing, right? Like, uh, I, I don't like here lately, I've been able to do some things in the evening, but, uh, usually most everyone is, is available to do multiplayer and stuff like that in the evening. And I'm just not like after, uh, you know, really after like 3 PM and own up, it's a madhouse. It gets into that time where like, I've got little blocks of time to do something, but I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time to just sit down and do anything undisturbed. So. Uh, I can't really like, I can't do multiplayer in the evening. Like once in a blue moon I can, but I can't like, I can't be like, Hey, yeah, uh, I'm going to do multiplayer tomorrow night. It's uh, at 8 PM because I never know what I'm going to be doing from one night to the next. Like some days we have dinner at five or six. And then other days we have dinner at like nine 30 at night. Like it's really that kind of crazy hectic life you know so uh i felt like it it kind of turned into that and it's just uh uh it's just something i can't provide i can't like i just i can't do that i want to maybe do some community multiplayers or something like that at some point but uh you know i i can't like just do one-on-one -on -one multiplayers with a lot of people it just can't happen it just won't happen it's not able to um so I don't know. I, I don't know what to do with Discord. I had honestly thought about getting rid of it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it going. Um, I'm going to try to make an effort to get on there more. And uh, be more interactive. It's like, you know, the thing about it, at least for my Discord. It's like uh, it's like feast or famine, you know? You, you, the discord just kind of sits and does nothing for days on end. No one re is really doing anything and that's fine. I get it. Uh, and then all of a sudden it just blows up and like everyone is on there talking and doing, at least that's the way it was a while, you know, like last year or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's either all or nothing. It's either doing something 
or it's dead. And then when it kind of goes quiet or dead for a while, you know, I won't pay as much attention to it and I get involved in other things. And then the next thing I know, it's been a week. And I'm like, oh, I haven't looked at Discord in a week. You know, it hasn't been doing anything. And then you go back and it's been doing something. So, uh, I don't know. You guys give me your thoughts on Discord. Tell me what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you think it's good? Are you indifferent? You know, I just, I don't know. I don't really like, uh, I don't know what to make of it. Um, I said, Ventrilo was pretty cut and dry. You just got on there and talked, right? You just got on there and chatted with people. Uh, Discord is just like this crazy mix of a voice chat and some kind of like forum that's not really good organized threads or anything like that. At least on Reddit, like you have threads, like you can, you know, I like, I don't know. I don't know what to think about Discord. Um, anyway, I, I think, uh, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else that I want to uh, talk about with you guys. I hope I haven't rambled too much. Uh, we may do some more videos like this. I'm kind of thinking about doing a, uh, a video of like what my first year, uh, or my first few years on YouTube was like, cause I know there's other content creators and stuff on here and, uh, it can be a hard journey. It's not easy, believe it or not, unless you're like, uh, incredibly lucky or have the magic formula as far as doing a YouTube channel. It's not easy. So I may do some videos about my experience. My experience won't be the same as everyone else's, but, uh, you give an idea, like I said, what the first few years are like, uh, maybe what the first year monetization was like that sort of thing. And, uh, just share maybe a little bit of that insight with you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this love all of you. And, uh, we'll catch you out there next time. Peace.